All right, hey, Hayes Mega here, and welcome to another Hayes Mega anime figure show and tell with Javelin, with the HMS Javelin from Azure Lane. All right, I got this figure from Amiami for nine ninety nine eighty. All right, uh, nine thousand nine hundred eighty yen. That's about sixty five U.S. dollars. Uh, I believe the shipping. I had this shipped with a bunch of figures. The shipping was 8,148 yen. That's about 60 bucks for a bunch of figures. So, oh, maybe I think it's six figures. So, yeah, it was about $10 to ship this. Not bad if I do say so myself. Okay. And there she is. There's Javelin Chan from uh, Azure Lane. Um, I believe in the uh, Azure Lane, uh, Azure Lane Slow Ahead anime. Uh, she. Uh, what I remember is Javelin uh, had a sh uh, yeah she there was a shower scene with Javelin in it <laughs> at the very beginning of the anime that's what I remember and she's a little cutie that's for sure that's for sure all right um, so yeah I got this for a pretty good deal sixty five bucks that's all I'm say is like uh, you can buy like prize figures for sixty five dollars okay like a good prize figure. And this is this is an altar figure, guys. So this is among the best. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. So I'm expecting good things. As you can see, the box is enormous, guys. It's like I, I have trouble fitting it on my desktop. Okay, that's how big it is. Okay, so yeah, she's a little cutie. That's why I wanted her, and uh, I got her for a good deal. And um, yeah, that's that's where I remember Javelin from. I, I have a clip. I have a clip that I made of the shower scene too. I'll put it at the end of the video, if you guys want to check it out <laughs> okay but yeah there this is a uh, uh, another of the Hades Omega's uh, summer 2024 anime figure show and tell all right and what what better thing to show off in summer than swimsuits and bikinis right all right the, the going to the beach or going to the pool um I think uh I think she's going to the beach is where she's going all right because of course it's Azure Lane. It's an aquatic game, right? It's a it's a naval game, <laughs> okay? That type of thing. All right. Um, so also this is a uh, item B box B figure. So I think that means uh, she's been this, she's been taken out of the box and displayed before, and uh, and the box is in the best of shape. Okay. Um, yeah, boxes. Well, well, we'll take a look at the box. All right, uh, right now. Okay. So let's start the figure show and tell. So there's the front of the box. It says Azure Lane. All right, Azure Lane is a uh, mobile game. It's a mobile game and anime. Okay, guys. This is the HMS Javelin. I'm not really sure. And he's making it's not too um, too savvy with the ship girls, man. <laughs> so Javelin, I for, I'll put a subtitle below what uh, what the Javelin was. Okay, I, but it's like it's one of the smaller ships. Okay. Um, it's a one seven scale painted figure. Uh, oh, we even get the sculptor here. So the sculptor is Makio Munetoshi, and the paint master, all right, the painter, is Watanabe Takamasa. Okay, we've got a uh, 2017 copyrights here from Yostar and Manju. Okay, they're the ones that uh, they make the game. All right, and then here we've got the altar logo, and I think that might be it. It's a holographic sticker for Yostar, I think. Yeah, because it's shaped like a star. Okay. And then, yes, would this make a good box figure? Absolutely. This would make a great box figure. Only thing is, yeah, she's not carrying the stuff. Okay? <laughs> she's she's not carrying the javelin, right? Um, that's all I want to say. So, but, uh, but it's one of those nice clear boxes where you can see everything. Okay? So, the only thing is these, ba these boxes scratch really easy. As you can see, there's a couple scratches here, here. Um, yeah, there's some scuff marks up here. Yeah, it's so the really easy to scratch, all right, but it makes a great figure box, all right. But I Hayes Mega is planning to display this, okay? So here's the side of the box. Aha, Royal Navy. So I would think she's a British ship, at least, okay, guys. She's a British destroyer. There you go. She's HMS Javelin, it's a, a, a British destroyer, guys, all right. And here we've got the altar logo here and there's a kind of a like a yeah on the box i don't know i guess we'll see when we take the plastic out it it could be the inner inner case or something um but yeah there's like a little uh watery background here okay 
And man, look at all this freaking scuff marks everywhere, man. There's a scratch here. Lots of scuff marks everywhere. Okay. I think that's the, um, the seal right there. It's like a lion or something. Okay, here's the back of the box. All right, it's the, it's just like the front of the box, except you can see her booty. What a sweet, sweet little booty it is. Okay, and here, oh, you've got a cute picture of the figure, all right? So that's what the figure is going to look like when we have it all together, I guess, okay? Yeah, I don't know, it looks kind of on the blurry side, but I think that's because this box is really scuffed up. So this, this is why it's a B box, all right? I'd imagine if it was a C box, there'd be actual damage to the box. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. In the inside, I can't feel it on the outside, but here there's some tape residue right here. So yeah, man, the box not in the best of the shape, but it's still still good enough to view is what I'm thinking, okay? Uh, you can see there's a circular sticker right here or a circular tape. That's what, what originally holding the box in, but the top one is uh, broken. Okay, and then so let's take a look at the top of the box. Okay, it's the same information. All right, on the bottom. All right, the bottom we've got the BB sticker. All right, uh, it's PVC and ABS, and it's from Alter. All right, made in China. Okay, there's a Zor Lane logo. Okay, so let's start the unboxing. Okay, just in case you're wondering, there is a beach background. Okay, uh, I don't know, maybe if you want to cut that out and make it a background or something. <laughs> maybe it's what they're going for. The bottom is like a sand color too, by the way. And then, yes, the, the graphic for the water is printed on the outside of the box. It's pretty cool. Okay, and it does come with an instruction manual. Okay, I think I will be using it. There's kind of a lot of parts to it. Let's give it a whirl. Ah, uh, there she is. Isn't she a cutie? There you go. There's a, a HMS Javelin. Okay, um, so it came out in several pieces. It came out, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, seven pieces, all right? The Javelin or the Umbrella in this case. It's a, it's a, it's a Javelin and a, an Umbrella. Um, it comes with, yeah, the Umbrella part here. The um, the kind of the staff part. Um, there's a chain. Oh, I don't know if that chain is in the right right spot too, man. Let me take a look at this. I think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be on the front part. Oh, I think I got it wrong. But you can. I think you can just rotate it any way you want, guys. So it should be like this. Something like that. I think you can have you can have it any way you want. I think you can position the javelin any way you want to, because she's just kind of just holding it. She can hold it anywhere, and it looks like it just wants to slide down. Okay, so it's kind of, that's kind of annoying. Also, there was this plastic thingy in her hand. Um, I think you're supposed to, you're supposed to take that out. So, so thing, you know. <laughs> so, so I don't know for I don't know for whatever reason I never seen that before that they they have something from there for them to hold when they're 
they're in the box okay guys maybe maybe the hand shrinks or something after a while I'm, I'm not sure man okay but yeah so so there's the base all right and then so the figure goes on to the base um there's one peg and it just slides onto there it slides on there really nicely and her foot is like on that little pedestal thing here perfectly all right yeah only one peg holding it up will she be a drooper guys oh, man that's a good question it i know it does look like it could be a drooper in the future guys look take a look at this she's kind of leaning back a little bit yeah she might droop to the back but hopefully not all right hopefully alter knows what they're doing that's what i'll say okay okay but yeah as you can see the figure takes up a lot of space so you're gonna need that it's and it, it's it's not the figure itself it's that javelin that javelin takes up a lot of space man <laughs> Uh, if you didn't have it there, or if you could find an alternate play to, place to put it, um, yeah, you'd probably, she'd probably fit a lot better, but I think I got the space for her, okay? Um, and then you've got, uh, and then the, and then the next is the javelin part, okay, guys? So you've got the center part. I think you got to put the chain on. You, ch you slide the chain in from the top or the bottom, and then there's the par part on the bottom, the, the pointy part on the bottom, and then you've got the umbrella part, all right? After after your view, you've assembled the chain onto the staff portion and then the bottom part, then um, you slide this up in there and then you put the umbrella on, okay? On uh, the umbrella part. And then, um, and then yeah, and then, and then just position it in the position that you want her to hold it, all right? I guess uh, I, I saw on the box that she's holding it more towards the umbrella part, so that's what I did. Okay, and then that, yeah, and then there's the basket, all right? So you got to slide the basket around her arm, and then there's a there's a hole for the peg for the basket to go in. Okay, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not sure if her head moves. It looks like it, it kind of does, but I'm not going to try. Okay, uh, hopefully she's not going to be a drooper in the future. Yeah, I know, because she's got, she's leaning back, and then she's got all this weight. The staff is kind of heavy. The, the, the staff part, all right, the center portion, of the the pole part of the um the javelin is actually made out of metal guys all right i think it's made out of it's made out of aluminum or something okay so hades meg is going to take a closer look at javelin here and then we'll go scrutinize this figure for 65 bucks i can't complain all that much though i think that's a bargain especially for an altar figure Okay, see you guys in a minute. Okay, Hades Mega is done looking over, and uh, let's start the scrutinization process. All right, so we're going to go start at the base and work our way up. So there's the base. It's a kind of uh, clear, clear roundish base, and it has like a kind of water graphic on it. You can kind of see there. Okay, kind of like waves and stuff. And then it gets clearer as... The front. So I guess it gives you the illusion that she's at the beach. Okay. Um, so there's her foot. Her foot, like I mentioned, her foot is attached by one peg to this pedestal here. All right, and it fit in there like perfectly. Okay. So there's her feet. Her feet actually do have. Looks like she. I don't know. It kind of looks like she has shading on her feet. All right. Um, it's a little more pinker than the rest of it. All right. Does she have like a nail polish? Yeah, she does have like a kind of nail polish on too, okay? So, very good attention to detail. Of course, it's alter, right? And the, the skin looks real nice. I don't see any problems with the molding or anything. Uh, one thing I noticed when I when I touched her is that this, this um, paint is very, very smooth on this figure. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go work our way up here to her uh, to her calves. Okay, she's got some pretty slender legs. That's what I want to say. Yeah, she's one of the smaller ship girls, guys. Okay, very nice. Uh, I the, if there's not really any sh much shading on this figure, guys, but there's some very subtle kind of shading. Like I think back here, you can see it kind of looks a little pink. Right, and then here it looks a little pink where her heel is. All right, not heel, um, the ankle. Okay, and then yeah, uh, right here where the toes were, there was some shading. 
Okay, that it's not very easy to see, but it's nice that it's there. It gives it kind of a 3D effect. Okay, very nice. Okay, the skin looks great, nice and smooth. I don't see any mold lines anywhere. All right, everything looks like it's been nicely sanded. All right, you can see the back of her foot right here. Okay, this one she's got up in the air. Okay, okay, let's move up to them thighs, all right. Okay, she's got some, I guess medium is premium thighs is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> she's uh, she's medium on the thickness scale, guys, all right. Not, not too skinny, but not, uh, not too thick, all right. Just right, all right. And yeah, I can't really see any, oh yeah, there's a splotch mark right here. Yeah, this figure's kind of messed up. This is a B figure. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a paint problem. Hmm, that or there's something, there's something on this figure. Yeah, I see like a kind of splotch mark right here or something. Uh, maybe I can get a, a wet nap or something and, and wipe it down. I'm not sure, but um, that's okay. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, it's like it's right in there on the thigh right there. I kind of don't like that. Okay. Other than that, the thighs look good. Okay, that booty looks great. All right, she's got that medium is premium booty as well. <laughs> it's it's nice and round. She doesn't have a flat booty. All right, <laughs> no flat booty javelins here. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, yeah. There is one thing I, I missed. I missed on the foot. All right. She's wearing like a kind of like an anklet or something. All right. It's like a bracelet for her ankle. It's uh, it's got like a I don't know. It's like a little flower on it, a pink flower, I think. And it's got these clear kind of crystal balls going around her leg. Okay. Very nice. Okay. And then now we're gonna take a look at the bikini bottom. All right, there it is. She is wearing a bikini bottom. It's got a blue ribbon on the side here. All right, it's kind of like a dark blue color. It, it does have some kind of shading or it changes color. It gets lighter at the tips. All right, and then there's a kind of gem in the center. All right, and there's some white kind of bordering here. Very nice. Okay. Um, there's, yeah, oh, okay. There's a there's some kind of line or a, a, a wire or strap that that attaches to her, right? How it stays there, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's attached to this black strap here, right? And you can tell it's gray and black shading on that. So there actually is a lot of shading on this figure, guys. Okay, and then there's the bikini bottom. Ooh, it's actually it's actually very. It's so kind of, kind of, kind of sexy and cute. All right, it's a, it's a blue colored bikini bottom, and it has like a white border on the top. All right, or this, and the the string, the string that holds it all together is white. All right, very nice. It is. I think it does have some shading. It looks like on the top, it's lighter than the outsides. Very nice. You can see her coin slot right here. She's got, she's got a coin slot, guys. All right insert coins there and it also has these little um oh, what are these these frilly thingies on the side here and there's like a kind of gold kind of wire holding it together on the outside it's very uh, it's very decorative as i want to say it's a decorative it's a it's a accessorized bikini bottom <laughs> i kind of like it it's, it's cute that's what i want to say okay so let's go move up to her tummy. And as you can see, there's already something uh, I'm looking. It's a glaring. The keyword is glaring problem with this, uh, with the paint here is that, yeah, man, it's too shiny here. What happened here? Like, it's a big splotchy thing here also, man. This figure is damaged, all right? It, in, in my opinion, this figure should have been like a C, all right? Did they even open this up? It looks like, it looks like an overspray or something. Yeah. Looks like an overspray, or maybe somebody spilled something on the figure that damaged the paint or something. But yeah, see that shiny spot there? I don't think that should be there. Okay. 
it doesn't look very good it looks kind of bubbly too so that's a paint defect all right so this is kind of like a defective figure guys for $65 though eh, I guess I can't complain too much just want to say all right I wish I got a better one that's what I want to say so her that her tummy here is a little too shiny other than that everything looks good all right the paint looks great not too shiny not too uh not too dull looking all right it's like a matte finish and it's super super smooth all right when you touch it very nice okay she's got a yeah she's got a she's kind of thick in the hip area as well say she's got a she's got a i don't know she doesn't really have the hourglass figure she's got a pear shape figure so she's got guys she's she's got a she's she's rocking the pear shape okay and then we're gonna move up to the let's go we'll take a look at her bikini top all right she's got um she's 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 kind of kind of flat as justice guys all right <laughs> those those of you guys that are into the flat as justice i mean they they look all right okay and then so it's a blue bikini top it's just kind of like this kind of cloth that goes or it's like a bandana or something that, that ties around her back all right and it's got the frilly stuff on the sides it's kind of like the the bikini bottom all right but except it's it goes al along the whole bottom okay it's a kind of like a I don't know. It's like a kind of transparent. It is transparent. Yeah, it's a transparent kind of white color. All right. There's a kind of um, a line line art here. Very nice. It's only on one of the boobs though. Okay. She's showing some of that armpit there. Okay. And uh, looks okay. And there's some some of that shiny stuff again right here. All right. But it looks like her armpit has some kind of shading. It gets kind of pinker, is what I'm going to say. All right, but yeah, there's some shiny stuff on the side of her boob here. here. What What the heck? What gives, guys? <laughs> I don't understand. What's going on here? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, you get some you get some peek at the armpits right here, right? And that's some nice shoulder. All right, uh, I don't know. She just got the 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 most pronounced uh, uh, collarbones, though. Unfortunately, yeah, man. You can see that there the the paint defects with the paint, with the skin are awful, guys. It's such a nice figure, except for those spots. Okay, guys. Um, so here she's got some kind of white. It looks like a band aid or something. Yeah, it's like it's got dimples and stuff around it. I don't really know what that is. It's some kind of like a temporary tattoo or something <laughs> okay um yeah and then so she's holding the basket in this arm right here she's got like a kind of clear like a glass bracelet i guess that's what they're going for right it's obviously it's made out of plastic but it looks like a, a donut come on focus okay yep you can see that she's got some yeah she's got some kind of nail polish on okay very nice. And now let's take a look at this picnic basket. So it's a, it's kind of a, um, it's kind of like a wicker, wicker picnic basket, basket sort of kind of. It's like a white and kind of brown color. And it's like kind of, it's partially open. I can't really see what's in there. Uh, and they look like some kind of it's like a tea set or something like there's some kind of dishes and stuff in there guys okay there's actually stuff in there yeah okay looks very nice oh sorry man it it it, it rotates on a weird plane okay yeah looks pretty nice all right and the handle's like kind of twisted up here very nice Let's go take a look at the other arm. Yeah, she's got stuff. She's got this. This figure has a lot of accessories with it. All right, she's got that same bracelet in the other arm. All right, the skin looks pretty good on this arm. It's a little, I don't know, it looks a little shiny here, just a tad bit shiny. So I'm gonna say, but that's fine. It's not super shiny, okay? And then she, yeah, there she is. She's holding the javelin, guys. I think this is an umbrella that says Azor Lane on it. All right, there's a really pointy part of the javelin. Okay, it's blue for the umbrella portion, and there's a little um, a pink bow on the other side, holding it together. Okay, very nice. 
Okay, she's holding it right there. Like I said, you can slide it anywhere you want on the kind of the staff portion of it or the pole. Uh, it's like a kind of, I would say that's like, that's an aluminum color. That's my guess. Okay. And then you've got this chain, chain and anchor. All right. That's what it is. It's a chain and anchor and you, it just wraps around it. All right. And then there's the, the pointy part there. You know what it reminds me of is a, it reminds me of a guide on is what it reminds you of. You know, the, where, um, you put the company flag or battalion flag, whatever. Um, the guidons had this pointy thing that you would, when you, you know, when you were going to put it on the ground, that's what you would, would touch the ground. Okay. Yep. All right. And then another thing I forgot to mention is there's some frilly stuff on the umbrella. Okay. You can see there on the bottom, the purple stuff. It's kind of purple and white. Lot, lots of nice, this, it's a nice colorful figure is what I'm going to say. Okay. And so now we're done looking at the arms. We're going to go take a look at her head. All right. She's. She's got a pretty, she's kind of, kind of got a big head. It's a, she's got a round, big head. Her mouth is open. She looks like she's having a lot of fun at the beach. All right. She's got green eyes. Yeah, I'd say green or like turquoise colored, all right, a blue green type of color. That's what I'm going to say. All right. You can see her eyebrows right here. Her mouth is wide open. And uh, she's got a little, she's like blushing a little bit. There are just those, the kind of blush that like, you know, it's just a bunch of lines. All right. They're, they're kind of hard to see too. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. But it's nice that they tried. <laughs> okay. And she's wearing a hair clip. It looks like it kind of forms like an upside down cross. All right. And then uh, what is it? She's, uh, she's got purple hair. She's got light purple hair. It's kind of hard to see that. Oh, let me, yeah, there you go. I made it a little brighter for you guys. Okay, the hair looks good. It's got some shading on it. All right, it looks like it's like kind of lighter at the top and then it gets darker towards the bottom. Very nice. She's got her hair done up into a ponytail. And she's kind of, kind of, she's, she's short hair. So, well, I wouldn't say short hair, but her hair must be down to her shoulders or something. She does have the... She can't, she can't have the long ponytail, that's what I'd say, okay? Uh, and then she's got a flower in her hair, very nice. I'm not really sure what kind of flower that is. Okay, yeah, it looks very detailed. All right, it's a kind of pink, reddish pink color. All right. And then there's a, it's got green leaves. Okay, she's got like kind of ahoge sort of right here. She's got some other hair coming out. The, the molding for the hair is very, very nice. All right, Hizmega just um, did a show and tell on a prize figure, and the the molding on the hair was not very good in certain places, okay? This is good everywhere, okay? And the paint looks great on the hair. I don't see any problems with it. Okay, you can see her ear right there. You can see the neck right there. All right, oh, she's got something around her neck. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I missed it. All right, so, yeah, she's got this kind of white. It looks kind of like a bow, sort of, kind of. And it goes around her neck right here, okay? And then it, it stops here at her um, at her bosom, okay? <laughs> okay, and there she is, Javelin. Isn't she a cutie? Um, yeah, I I mean I like I said I watched the um, the anime. She, she was in the in the beginning part. She I think she shows up a lot in the in the the Azure Lane Slow Ahead anime. Um, a lot of the episodes feature Javelin in it, okay? So, uh, especially the first one where does she does the shower scene, okay? <laughs> she's, like, late for school and she's taking a shower. That's, yep, they just had to add that in there for fan service, <laughs> that type of thing. Okay, so I like the figure. It's really cute. Um, I like the pose and everything and all the extra. There's a lot of extra accessories that go with it and stuff, all right? The, she's, she's really cute. The bikini's really cute. Uh, my biggest uh, gripe is um, the skin. All right, the skin is looks spec. Ninety percent of the skin looks spectacular, guys. All right, it's great, no problems. All right, the other ten percent not so good. All right, so like right here, it looks like something like an overspray or something. It just doesn't look right. I think um, yeah, on the side boob here, it was too shiny. 
Um, where else? The booty looks great, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, the skin looks really good, man. But there's just some some places that are just glaringly, you know, there's something wrong with the skin. Like, yeah, right here, and right here, right here, right there. And they're, like, kind of all in the same spots. That's kind of weird, right? So... Okay, but you know what? For sixty-five dollars, um, I can't complain too much. Um, is what I'm gonna say. It's the uh, it's like the price of like a high-dollar price figure, I guess. But this is a a very nice scale figure, and like I said, ninety percent of the skin is nice. Okay, <laughs> the other ten percent not so nice. Um, also, there is a there could be a problem with her being a drooper in the future. I hope that's not the case. All right, because like she looks like she's leaning back a lot, man. Um, so you can see the peg is like leaning back, and her leg, her her leg is leaning back. Her body's kind of straight up and down, but then she's also got this javelin, all right? She's holding this javelin that puts weight to the back of her foot again. So hopefully she won't be a drooper, all right? I, I don't think it's too heavy a figure. Let me see. Yeah, it's a little hefty, man. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, hopefully she will be a drooper in the future. She also bobbles around a lot. There's not a lot of support, man. There's, there's, she's only got one foot on the ground. Uh, Hayes Meg is not really big fan of these kind of dynamic figures because, yeah, they become droopers in the future. But hopefully this one will not be, right? Okay, there she is. Javelin from Azura Lane, from produced by Alter, right? And uh, look forward to more uh, summer 2024 swimsuit anime figure show and tells all right um i'll get some 360s and close-ups that's end of the figure show and tell thanks for watching here's my go